Hello, crafty friend Sparkle here. Welcome to another crafting session with Sparkle. And today we are going to be making some scrappy stamp snippets. What is a scrappy stamp snippet, you may say? Well, it's when Sparkle decided that she's going to use um, some stamps that she has on her desk, um, some scraps of fabric and paper and different trims and this is what we're going to make because I felt like sewing I felt like using up some stuff we're going to use our um, butterflies and our um, things that we embellished the other day so where's, where's my numbers oh, I'll have to get my numbers there's some place else but yeah I thought we can make these it's just held together with a stitch and um, yeah so I put a few together just to show you what we're doing there's no rhyme or reason I have a piece of scrap paper a piece of fabric an old piece of lace and these are all out of my my leftover bin I'm just stagger, staggering them on there uh, this is that curtain backing that I have I'm just going to fold that on there because I like the the color that it produces a piece of music paper. I'm not even inking anything. And uh, a stamp. I'm going to try to make sure everything goes the right direction. So we'll make a, some of these and just um, pin them together and then um, I'll go off and sew them when we're done. So, and then we added a butterfly and a enamel number and a eyelet and a piece of ribbon. So here's another one. I'm not sure if I like this one yet. So we have a piece of fabric. Oh, I know why. Because we need a piece of we need a piece of paper. Because that's going to be my anchor. So paper, fabric, paper, lace. This is um. What do you call this tool? But it has some sparkles in it from Michaels. And here's a ten with a little fairy person sitting there. So, yeah, we'll just build a couple like this. How's your day going? I hope it's great. I couldn't get on earlier because we have a huge Palo Verde tree in the desert here, and it came. Um, it over bloomed so it needed to be trimmed and I had to hire someone to come out and they were here I had to give them all my money to do it but it's worth it so yeah so I had to be available because I had to go out and talk to him because hubby can't do that well he could but I didn't want him to fall out there it becomes my job. I like the bigger ones because I have all these. And I'm sorry, I don't know where they came from. Ah, sorry, artists. If you identify your work, please give me a shout out. Yeah, so we can just build them up. Let's make another one from scratch here. So we'll take a piece of fabric and a piece of um, paper. And I don't know what this is called. It was from um, Dollar Tree by the floral section. But it, it's kind of funky there, you know. I like it. Uh, let's put some lace on there. I know that's all kind of beige color. Let's put a piece of this sparkly stuff on top and just a piece of um, maybe words and just offset that and oh two sweet little kids on there I'm I'm making the stamp like straight here I don't know just like the way that looks. So, 
I really have to do my craft fire video. So remind me to do that, okay? All my friends out there. So let's see. We have a piece of paper. We have a piece of fabric. And this is actually I got this um it's a big sheet of um cotton backing and I got it from Walmart. So it's perfect. We have that. Um, now let's use, I've got this off-color lacy stuff. I didn't really care for it, but it, it looks fine on this kind of stuff. I don't know why I didn't care for it. I just didn't. Here's a piece of that, um, my last, probably my last piece of this blue stuff we got from Walmart. We're missing something. What are we missing? Let's see if we can get it to sparkle. Nikki, these might have been from you, but I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I did some cleaning, and I found some things that I needed to use. So, let's see. Paper. This has a little embossing on it. Oops, not that. Nope, I'm missing something. What am I missing? I'm missing some lace or something. Nope, I still need something. I still need something. It's called Use Up Your Scraps. And let's um, put her on there. I was sort of staying with the blue tones because I was going to be using that blue ribbon. But now these are, I'm going to have to go to the sewing machine to get these um, fastened together. So let's see what we got here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm going to go sew these. Just sew them real quick. Hopefully I won't have any glitches and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, I should cut off some of these ends because they bug me. I know a lot of you like those ends. <sighs> Cute. I love just using up stuff on my desk. Oh, I should have done some messy stitching. Oh, well. Huh, I'm laughing because a year ago, I didn't know how to sew. Um, I didn't even have my channel this time last year. So, I've come a long way, I think. 
and it's been fun. And I'm over a thousand subbies, which is fabulous. Thank you all. But now I need to get my watch hours up. I'm only at 2,300 and I need 4,000. So that's my next goal. But, you know, if it happens, it happens. If not, that's okay too. All right, so now let's, um, let's uh, get, we've got these things that I enameled, these things, these tags that I enameled. Is that faux enameling technique? So let's use some of these. And I wanted to add these, and I wanted to add a butterfly. Okay. So either a number or a... And we need something for this one. Hopeful. Um... I want something else on here. All right. That looks nice. So we've got, those are done. So we've got these six down here. So let's try to find a butterfly. I hope I have enough small butterflies. Well, I have tons of butterflies, but I hope I have the ones that are, um, what do you call it, with the enamel stuff on it, because I like the way they look. And I know there are curls because I, I did that on purpose. Oh, one more. We need one more sparkle. <laughs> one more sparkle. Okay, so we were able to find that. We don't need these. Let's uh, decorate them and then we can um, now make sure there's a number on these um, stamps. So the orientation should mean something. So relaxing. Yeah, just get what you what you need out. I try to think think outside the box, get my stuff at least prepped, so I'm not spending a lot of time of your time wandering around for things. So these are my scrappy, scrappy stamp snippets. Say that three times. I don't really need to use this glue. Probably don't need to use that. Let's see how my um, our glitter glue works. In my book, you can never have too many snippets. Two, three. I think they're turned out really pretty.
is the last one. Okay, and then we're just going to um, use our crocodile and try to find a place on top that will go through all the layers. Oops, didn't mean to cover your face, Chicky. There you go. Okay, so then I wanted to um, take the crocodile. And sorry, I'm just going to be going through a lot of layers, okay? So I'm aiming for the um, the car the paper, but not by the stitching, so. These might be a little putsy to get through these layers, but we'll figure it out, won't we? Sure. Okay, so. Let's do that six times, huh? Make sure I got the top, and I don't want to do the stitching. So I've reinforced it, and I don't want it to um, just come out. fabric in there. You just get out of there now. I don't know. They didn't really need the ribbon, but I thought it looked pretty. So, it's got ribbon. One, two, three, four, five. It's okay if it's not on, up on top. It's more for de decoration. Because I've not seen something quite so dramatic as this. <laughs> oh, sparkle. I crack myself up sometimes. And there's one more. And let's get this one in. Oops. Uh oh. What's going on here? Wow. Wow, look at this. I don't know what happened. This has never happened. Maybe this wasn't locked in all the way, Marco. Um, okay, so that one has owie. 
so I'll have to um, fix it. I will. Glue a piece of paper behind it, let it dry, and then I can repunch it later. Okay? So let's just, oops. That happens, but there's usually a fix. Sparkle can usually figure something out. So we're just going to let that dry, and we'll revisit it later. We have enough to work with here. So, we don't need that. We don't need our glue anymore. We don't need our eyelets anymore. We don't need our pokey tool anymore. So, what we do need is our ribbon. And this is the only ribbon I could find. I'm going to make it six inches. I want one. Two, three, four, five. I want six. Six at six. Close enough. Okay, then these, I'm just putting them through. And I thought of just putting a staple, a staple here. I don't know if I like that. Let me try it. Well, I guess that's not going to happen because I can't see my staple right in front of me, so. See how I like that. Gotta get it right on the angle there. Nope, not a fan. So, go back to my original plan. I'm never afraid to try something. So, we're just going to... tie a knot. I could have left these longer. I did not. I just want the knot to go up to the top there. Okay. 
Well, my goodness. If you didn't want to do it that way, you could just do the left over right and under. Right over left and under. I don't like that. So I'll go back to what I was doing. Okay, I'll be right back. You don't have to watch me do all that. Okay, here's the one I repaired. See, it's fine. Okay. So here are your um, scrappy stamp snippets. And I think they're darling. And I think it's just another way we can use up what we have in our desk, whether it be... Um, our collection of stamps or butterflies or enamel things that we've made you know just use your stash my friends use your stash and um, just enjoy the process we'll see you again soon bye